What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. Today we're gonna to be looking at this, which is the Osage River Range Gear Bag. And uh, it's gonna run you probably around $45, give or take, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, depending on where you pick it up. Uh, this is actually replacing my other gear bag that I kept in the trunk of my car as far as my emergency bag. Now I'm not gonna go through all the specific gear that I keep in the bag because today is just gonna be kind of an overview of the actual bag and then I'll be doing a separate video to show you my upgrades, some of my changes to my car emergency slash survival bag. But this bag is uh, it's pretty cool, offers you a lot of different options. Now I'm using it as an emergency slash survival bag but it's also built to certainly be used as a range bag. I already have a separate bag that's uh, dedicated to being my range bag. So I'm not gonna be using this bag for that, but I have liked it enough to actually get rid of my other um, backpack that I had in the back of my car. And I'll explain more about that in my uh, different video. But um, I like this bag enough to get rid of that and to put all my gear in here. So let's zoom in, take a look at this bag and talk about some of the features. Okay, let's get right into it here. First thing I wanna tell you is that the official dimensions they're saying are 18 uh, by 13 and then 10 inches high. Just looking at it, it is definitely bigger than that. So uh, that is the official dimensions, maybe when there's nothing in the bag, but I'll roll in the actual dimensions with the bag with gear in it right here so you can see what this one actually measures out to be. Uh, let's talk about some of the details here. Uh, you can see you do have a shoulder strap. The quality of the handles and the shoulder strap, I'd, I'd like to see it a little bit thicker uh, than what it is, but thus far I haven't had any issues. Um, they do use, we do have metal here and metal on your, um, on all your, uh, basically your hardware, which is nice instead of, you know, even some durable plastic, nice to have something that's metal there. So you ha do have a shoulder strap, let's get that out of the way. You do have these two handles with the hook and loop here. So you can put this in like so and close it up and that's how you can, uh, that's how you can carry it. You've got, it's not really a D-ring, but it's a loop attachment point here. And then over here is where, well, and you can see I've hung actually a bunch of gear off of there. I've got a couple of tack links. I've got um, a tick remover. I've got a thermometer and emergency whistle. So that's, uh, that's some of your basic kind of carry info. Then let's start in the, uh, in the front section here. Back this up just a tiny bit. This unzippers now all the way down to the bottom, which is nice. I've seen other bags that zip only halfway down. This one goes all the way down to the bottom. This opens up like so. Now you've got a bunch of mag pouches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right across the front there. And then you have this pouch that you can put things in. And this has got hook and loop on the bottom so you can take it out. Now as far as a range bag, this is to hold a pistol so you can take it out. I'm keeping it uh, attached in here. And I haven't even filled all these pockets yet, but I do have pens. I've got my uh, large XL Eaton tool. I've got a... Um, uh, Swiss Army knife, I've got an extra knife, I've got a Leatherman all in here, and then down in this section I have a bunch of stuff for fire starting. So lots of space in here, there's more room in here that I haven't filled, I haven't filled all these pouches, and then you can even put something in here and then zip it up like so. Let me close this up. I will also note you've got the option to lock your zippers, and these, um, it doesn't say YKK on the zippers, but they do seem to be good quality and they're, lar it's, they're larger, um, larger teeth here. So for me, a frustration is when you got small teeth and they get caught up in stuff. So that's been really good so far. Spin this around to what I'm at least calling the backside here and show you that you've got the same thing on this side. So you have your mag pouches there, you got some space, you got another removable pistol pouch and then more space there. So lots of, lots of storage space. Let's go to one of these ends, unzip this. Now this one only goes halfway down, and I said I do like the ones that fold open fully, but it is actually kind of nice to have ones that uh, also don't open fully because if you have stuff in here that can fall out, this does keep it in. So, you know, there's pluses and minuses. Some people would want all four that open fully. Some people would want all of them to only open halfway, but I, I kind of like the mix. Uh, in here, I've got space. There's no kind of dividers in here, but I've got some toilet paper. I've got a bunch of kind of random gear in here, and I've got some, um, some dust masks. I keep in this end section. And then you can also see here, we have a pouch that you can store gear in here. This is where I keep my Bible uh, in there. Spin this around to the other side. And instead of having a zipper section, you just have a kind of a drop-in pocket, which is nice if you just want to throw some gear in and then be able to retrieve it really quickly. Over here, same type of thing. This is where I keep a lot of my cordage, but a similar pocket to, uh, to the other end. And then let me flip, flip around to the front here. And then we're gonna go into this top section. Let me lift up the camera so you can zoom in and see what that actually looks like. 
So here's your main compartment and the zipper is going to go basically three quarters of the way around. This folds back. Lots of different gear that I keep in here. Let me just get some of this big stuff out of the way. Uh, I've got my clean canteen there. I've got my um, shock and awe tomahawk. What I've essentially done is I divide it into two sections. I've got all my med stuff back here, my big rollout med kit, and then other gear in this section. They do give you a bunch of, let me take one of these out here, these dividers. And you can see that I've put this divider in horizontally like this, but there are uh, hook and loop uh, basically panels that run here and then down toward the bottom this way as well. So they're actually made, looks like, best to run flat. So you can put a bunch of gear, put this down, another bunch of gear, and then another one down, and then more stuff on top of it. I've actually done mine horizontally, and uh, it has worked totally fine. So you can divide out this section as much as you want. But let me just clear this out so you can actually see how big this main compartment is. Lots of space in here. Lots of gear that I've kept in here. So, I mean, you can see that's huge, and now you can see one, and then down here, too, is the second section. All right, so as I mentioned, I'll be doing a separate review talking about my gear that I keep in my car emergency survival bag um, that I keep in my trunk at all times. This is the bag I'm now using that, uh, for that setup, so that should tell you something about, you know, how much I've liked this bag so far. Now, I will say, uh, part of the reason I had a backpack before was I thought if I had to grab the bag and go somewhere, um, you know, I want something that's easy to carry. This is not going to be something that you're going to want to hoof around in the woods, you know, throwing it over your shoulder or carrying it by the handle for 10 miles. It's just not built for that. But as far as organizing gear, I like the number of pockets. I like how it's laid out. I like how you can organize it in different ways, especially in that main compartment. So that's been really cool to, uh, to test this out. I put links down below. If you want to get a hold of one of these bags, you can uh, use the links down below to, uh, to check it out. It does come in a couple different colors. So um, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely worth considering. I've seen a lot of different bags and I'm always about something that's going to organize my gear the way I want to organize. Some people don't mind three big pockets. I like lots of little pockets, subsections to organize my gear effectively. So that's why I've, uh, I've been enjoying this bag. As always, I'll report it and let you know what I think about it for long-term use. But uh, check this out. Again, Osage River, the uh, range gear bag. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube. If you've not done so already, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.